Oh, Mad Men's back into it now. Double damage helping with that. So again, a game of stalemate. Lord's off Warriors is ready in case. They have the ward there. They see it. Funk Bang might try to steal it. Funk Bang. Funk Bang. There we go. The jump from Shinawa Magnus. Mad Men's on dropping right here. He does have the Berserk up, though, with the staff of the Master. They do kill Pebbles. Try to kill Congor. Mad Men can kill. Funk Bang goes back in. Funk Bang steals our token. He is going to die right here, but... He comes right back up. Madman, can he stay alive for a bit longer? They're trying to kite away from him. Can he get a kill? No, he cannot. Madman will fall. What a token steal from Funk Bang, and it wins a fight for the team, no doubt. Wow, the timing was perfect for MRR. Oh, attacks in. Ooh, Lava Surge in on the Dr. Pulse with the Rotten Grasp. is going to connect. He's going to be forced to man up here, and he will be able to get that ludicrous speed out. But Deadwood's going all in here, but realizing it is the wrong decision. The Oak Bolt will not be enough, and the Health Pot keeping him alive. Magnus going to be able to escape. A Sync comes out clean here in the top. Lane. Midas taking heavy damage from the Parasite rotation by Andromeda. He will elemental warp and pick up the bottle. He gets the stun off on a Parasite. Another nice escape there by Zibe. And if you notice, that Opal probably would have killed him if it weren't for that health potion. So huge play by Serenia. They should see the buyback. Salfors comes first. The oh, what a stork did! The Pestilence, no stun comes off. The Magnus Lavasurge comes out. What is this? Complete, he's doing it. Lone Salfors going to be jumped in. Dark Lady comes in. She does a ton of damage, but Madman's still alive. The double stun from the Magnus, and now oh Sib is in trouble. Haxor is down. Hax dies back again. Warrior Beast, can he get the self force tablets in there? The second buyback, the last buyback from the Dark Lady, but it is that Mega Creeps. That is the Mega Creeps. They played the objective game and got those Mega. I'd be surprised if they could pull off a Congor right now. Let's see, they're gonna make an attempt here. Yep, I don't see any resistance here from Myth. I don't even think they know. No, they don't have yeah. vision in the area, though Pebbles is making his way over. This uh, but this is timing. Oh, oh my no, oh my god, he gets the toss off and the stun. Who got the, he stole the token. Oh my god, he is in a little bit of trouble. Mage Man's coming in to join the party. They do get a pick off on the Parallax. The Arcane Vortex, I don't know who's mixed up in there. Warby's trying to metamorphose out with the Hard Card Shard, stunning him down. Now Mage Man's get the uphill advantage. What a play by Escape here. Whether or not this Warby's escapes, he went in completely blind and he snatched that token. I, I, I have no words. I think he gets caught. He does lift a bunch of trees and I think he threw them, but the Moira Ultimate should have saved. Oh no, he actually kills the Moira off and then they don't have that stun. Forcing the Deadwood back. Is Mick actually going to turn this around? It looks like it. Deadwood is so low. Can he juke this out? Andromeda, no Aurora. Swap. In one second. Oh! oh this joins the comet. And he's going to actually get away from it here. Gonna be a Concord. Oh, never mind. I was going to say a Concord dance. Double damage back. Then Batman got TD. Now it's a Concord dance. And now with the token of life, and they still got a couple of seconds on this double damage. They're going to look to find something here. The dust connecting onto Ophelia. The Oak Bowl, here comes the Magnus Lava Surge, connecting on both Lord Self Force and Ophelia. Ophelia is going to have to store create herself, and the background prisoner gets his ultimate off, but it's broken. The Rhapsody will immediately interrupted by that Storm Spirit, and now Midas is in trouble here as Ogi cleans things up a bit, but up in the top over here, they finish off Self Force. Magnus channels the eruption here. Wasn't sure where he was going with that. He hits Ogi and Prisoner around the tail ends of their shrunken heads. Ogi will man up here. Batman, though, can't do nothing. Now he's into his ultimate form after death. That's a three-man lava surge. So huge to slow things down a bit. Can that man get in range to finish off the prisoner? One more auto attack. He will do that. So the life after death here being very effective. Ophelia can use the Void Talisman here. Buy herself a little bit of time, but again, that's got to be the third or fourth lava surge this fight for Magnus. And he's getting the maximum range on these stuns. I mean, really, he made that fight. By the way, Urshan are up by Parallax. He's trying to get the kill on a Behemoth right here, and it's going to be enough damage. But the Mana Ramp, not enough. That's exactly what I wanted to bring up right there, though. But he has an Invis. He opens a little oh. main main. The big plays from 5, 6, 7, a. The fan favorite gets the double tap. He is going to take the combo stun, though, and he will fall in the end. But at least a nice double tap prior. 
Oh, oh Damon no. comes in with a Fisher stop, but Magnus was here to join the party. So Pebbles still like fights. Oh, oh my god, the Magnus toss! toss. Oh my god! The Fisher stun keeping him in pop the stock almost! Almost disjointing that last tower attack with the barrel roll. That was the first time I've ever seen a toss like that. He tossed him over the Fisher so that he had no option but to run into the tower. Wow, what a play by McKay. Bottom lane, they're gonna jump down here into the Dark Lady. She doesn't get the charging strikes off. She has ghost marches. Look at her mating oh up on a Vicky. Gets no that way. silence off to stop the impale. It's like looking a bullet in the face. Just in time to dodge it. That was crazy. He just turned around, dropped an auto attack, dropped to 7 HP, and then walked away from there knowing that he was fine. Oh man, here comes Dark Lady's gonna get storm sprayed in here, but Midas gonna get jumped down by Doctor. He will fall back into the background. Dark Lady's gonna get caught in the elemental void here. Mage Main pouring the auto attacks into him. He goes down, he has money for buyback here. I imagine he's gotta be considering using it. Tower goes down. This could be the second set of barracks. Warbeast though, with that shrunken head putting a ton of damage into Mage Main. There we see the portal key toss onto the three heroes. Rhapsody will continue to keep the pick melody up, activating that void talisman. Mage Main's eventually gonna go down. Now he has the token. Looks like Midas is to heal himself. We see another Three hero toss coming out here. Pestilence will fall to the Dark Lady who did eventually buy back here. Now it's the rest of the Legion team falling back. A huge manor void taking out the Dark Lady. But they protect their barracks. Or do they? Mage Bane's still fairly healthy. Gonna run back in there, drop some auto attacks, but it looks like they're back in Doctor's Pulse. Huge damage on top of Serenia. Pebbles is back though. Now Mage Bane's in trouble. They're gonna go for the skill. He gets Storm Spirited. Wow, Mage Bane's gonna blink out in the nick of time. And what a play by Midas, leaping into position and still getting the portal key off. Wow, unbelievable that Mage Bane gets out of there alive. And they want to set up here, they want to defend this. They're going in? Yeah, he's charging in. He's stunned three heroles, actually. As the swarm is applied to Defiler. Doesn't get the team support in time, though. Untying coming out. Raveter, he jumps on it. Jellif, Jellif goes down. Down goes Pearl as well. Could not bubble in time, actually. Defiler gets taken out. And now Thorns out for us. He's a tank man. Do they have any stopper? Yeah, yes they do. The impel hits. And down goes out for us. A four for nothing exchange. The, oh, crap. <laughs> as they do jump, Chief to on a pass. Let's again. Melody, saving a little bit. God, he gets talent right away. They're so on top of that. Down goes Pestilence. Raps gonna fall as well. Second buyback from Pestilence. The final one. The Lord's up for us. He's just gonna die. Fall back. I think this is gonna do it for D Dog. The last chance for Sinky Sports. Can they somehow hold big crystal field from Tim? And the turn potential is actually there all of a sudden. Warby's goes down. Raveter's still barely alive, holding his ground. He's somehow still alive, but he finally gets taken out. So Sinky Sports still keeping hope alive as they somehow win that fight. But they do lock up Parallax, there's the combo yet again coming out. There's the first, a big pitfall, that one, all three. Parallax goes down, down go the other two. What a hat trick as a team there for t Tug. That looks so beautiful. Gladiator, of course, the big part of it with the call to arms. No, they're definitely going to commit to this, I believe. They want to use the token. So all the oh my god, what a stun! It's going to get all three heroes. They follow up with the Behemoth Fisher on top of the Illuminar Power Throw. Where's that jump in the background? Ophelia gets Storm Spirited, though, preventing that in the background. The Moon Finale still not used. Yeah, actually, Fuzzy Slop ended up picking up the Behemoth in the back line, and now Magnus is going to jump back in. They're team wiping Sync. There's the Moon going to come back up, but she doesn't really have much firepower left, and she's being locked down. Ophelia Soaking up all of those moon beams, and Legion team comes out on top here. Yeah, what looked like an amazing fight from Sink, starting off with a triple shot from Mickey. The Behemoth, though, unable to follow up. Fuzzy from behind, killing out that Aluna, killing off that Behemoth. Huge plays from Fuzzy in that fight. That's where it's up for us. Gonna get caught on, but very aggressive move by Dr. Impulsor. He's ludicrous speed away. The elemental boy gets a couple, though. Pebbles all the night top of the chrysalis. Gonna keep Pebbles alive for now. Will he actually survive in the long run? Oh my god, he's still alive. The heal aura is keeping him alive. Unbelievable, the heal support here. Tempest does go down, and everyone got out for this Neolution team. How did that happen? Oh, come in. Yeah, they're gonna jump on a ton for right here with the doctor. Chief Stick comes out. I uh, God, this is taking a while, actually. In fact, here comes the counterplay. The Mana Rift comes out and down goes Dr. Repulsor. That's what we're talking about. The Shockwave on top of that. Rhapsody in trouble in the background. Lord South Forest falls and MRR winning this fight big time. The bait was real. Parallax trying to get out of there. He will successfully. Pestilence as well, maybe. Oh no, now he's caught. And uh, he cannot afford to get one second. 
Yes, he can. P2Y gets away initially. I don't, I don't think that other was just yet literally. Yeah, he's not getting away. Kind of stuck on the cliff right there. Hat trick to finish. Oh, Dewey HP, aka the Funk Ping. He's so good. That I mean, mana riff. <laughs> Mageman's now maybe yeah, in trouble. He gets scouted out by the Hellhounds. Midas gonna lead in with the transmute stun. Morbius gonna drop in. They have no mana again for the opposite charges. The dust hit. They oh, know where the mage bane is. Mage bane no, they here. hit him with the dust. Oh my goodness. He's got the shrug and head activated. He's picking out. He is not revealed currently. So they're gonna have to look for him. But the Hellhounds, do they see him or not? They can't see him. Wow, and he blinks over again, skirting the edge of the map here. Formless. Formless. What a player. Wow. That was a huge play for Formless. Blinking at the exact right spot in that panicking situation. And in the meanwhile, Complexity is actually gonna take a tier one mid tower. And this is massive. Move. Like, if he moved, that was it. He just, you just pray that they don't oh, find you. <laughs> Yeah, and in the meanwhile, Formless is actually dropping very low to the Undying of Slap. But is it gonna kill him? Oh, he uses the Barrel Roll to stay alive! What a fantastic play from Formless! This guy! First the Mage Bane, now the Madman. That was massive!